Hi guys, it's Yuri from AndroidCircuit.com and I just wanted to do a follow-up video of the Arco 7.0 internet tablet. Today I want to take a look at some of the emulators that are available in the Android market. I was able to get a classic Wii controller uh, to work with a Wii Mote with a application called Wii Mote Controller. And I'd like to take a look at Sega Genesis. And let's take a look at Sonic. I already made save games for all the games, so I'm just going to load them from the beginning. Alright, so that's Sonic on Sega Genesis. Let's take a look at the Super Nintendo emulator. We'll do Mortal Kombat 3. Alright, so that's Mortal Kombat 3 on the Super Nintendo emulator. Let's look at the Nintendo emulator. Super Mario Brothers 3. Oh. Oh. Alright, so that was the Nintendo emulator. Let's take a look at Game Boy again. I'm going to do Pokemon Emerald this time. Alright, so that's Pokemon on the Game Boy Advance emulator. Let's take a look at PSX for Droid, which is the PS1 emulator for Android. I picked out a few ROMs last night that seemed to run the best, so let's take a look at Tony Hawk 2.
So it runs very smooth. I'm hoping once Froyo hits this tablet, we'll have much better speeds. Alright, so that's Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Let's take a look at Quake 2. Alright, so that's Quake 2. Let's take a look at Spider-Man 2. Alright, so that's Spider-Man 2. Let's take a look at Spider of the Dragon. That will be the final game that I'm going to show you today. Alright, and that's Spire of the Dragon. Okay, thanks for watching part one of this video. In part two, I'm going to run the tablet through HDMI on the TV and show you guys what these emulators look like on a big screen. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out AndroidCircuit.com for a full review of this device and other Android news.